Alright, welcome back. This is going to be episode 2 of the Terraria Let's Play that I am doing. And I just figured I'd go ahead and start right back off where I left. No need to head back to the base or anything. We haven't really accomplished much, so let's keep exploring. Uh, the reason I've come back here is not only for more cacti, but just as well, like, I really, really hope that I have pyramids. Because pyramids are fun things to have. They're really useful. They give really good items, especially if you have more than one, because then you can get both the flying carpet and the sandstorm in a bottle, which both of those items are just... They are amazing. <laughs> Basically, completely take fall damage out of the equation. Which is absolutely amazing, as you can guess. Because, like I said, fall damage sucks. And not having to rely on the, uh... You know, Umbrella to be my only source of survival if I... Oh my god, I have pyramids. So, I'm incredibly happy about this. So, maybe I have to. I hope so, but... Let's go ahead and start digging in, shall we? Um, I'm not sure why it's playing Crimson music right now. It's interesting. It, it appears as if Terraria has found itself confused slightly. So I will, of course, keep the sandstone bricks, just because, like, come time to search for the Sky Islands, it will be very useful to build up a little bit. So, hopefully, let's get some good stuff in this here pyramid. Now, they usually open up into, like, a little room, so let me pop a torch. Yep, there we go. So, as you can see, pyramids are very straightforward. There's no, like, traps or anything in them, as far as I know. Yeah, give me that healing potion. So, let's just go down. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and pop a torch up here. Um, oh, yes, gold and silver. Yes. So, pyramids are really profitable. And there we go. There is my flying carpet. And it gives me plus four defense, which is really good this early on in the game. Grenades, I don't really use. Recall potions, super useful until you get your magic mirror. And I'll just take everything. Now, as I recall, I don't think pyramids actually have anything else in them other than the one treasure room. But let's go and see. Uh, like I said, this is actually only the second time I've ever had pyramids generated in a world. Which is really crazy considering how many times I've played Terraria and how much like time and effort I've put into this game. But I'm super excited that I actually have them on a recording. So, as you can see, flying carpet makes me float. Um, yep, so that seems to be the end of the pyramid. Uh, I can probably, if I'm feeling up to it, come back down this way and just, yeah. Flying carpet also makes it very easy to walk up here because it constantly resets your jump since you're touching the ground. So that's really fun. And you just kind of slide up the pyramid. So like I said, pyramids are super awesome for new characters. I'm super excited, actually. This is really cool because... Oh, yeah, I want these banners too. So that is the Omega, the Ankh, and then I'll grab just one of the snake ones because I don't need two snake banners. So let's dig our way out, shall we? This is going to take a while with the pickaxe that I have, but whatever, right? You know, who cares? I got a pyramid. <laughs> um, and there is the merchant. He will sell me just some general good. Oh, oh, God, sand. He's just going to sell me some general goods, generally useful stuff. Um, I believe he'll actually sell you an anvil, but, you know, I just may as well go ahead and make one. So... Let's hope for the second pyramid so I can get the sandstorm in a bottle. Please give me another pyramid. That would make my life. Um, let's see here. Am I lucky? Hmm. Now here's the question: Do I want to dig down? To see if I have another pyramid. I don't think it's really worth it. Pick up that water leaf. Water leaf is useful. Is this scorpion? He, he's chilling. So, um, in the past I haven't really been very judicious with, like, making potions on my own and stuff. I've always just kind of like, yeah, if I get them, I get them. If I don't, then I don't. So, gonna try to make a better habit out of that. Shine potions are super useful, though, for new characters. But, uh, right now I can actually just go and buy the mining helmet, so maybe not as useful. And the mining helmet will do lots of great things for me, and it will be super useful, and it'll be fun. So... 
Let's see here. Am I lucky enough to have double pyramid? I guess we'll find out. Oh my god, I actually am. Okay, so... On top of this only ever being the second time I've ever had pyramids generate in a world, I get two. So, color me lucky, because I'm super fucking excited about this. <laughs> um, can't see anything yet. Uh, why is this not... Yeah, there we go. Alright, awesome. So, got my second pyramid. I'm very happy about it. Uh, there we go. Oh, yes, and the treasure room is full of treasure. Uh, get rid of that. So, 32 gold coins is actually pretty crazy for a new character. And, let's see what I get. Ah, another flying carpet, that's a shame. I was really hoping for the sandstorm and a bo Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. I meant to hit loot all and I accidentally quick stacked. So, you know, it's a shame that I got another flying carpet, but this will sell for a pretty nice amount. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the gold chest. Um, and see if there's anything else down here. I don't know if it's a random chance that you have more than one treasure room in a pyramid or anything. But, we will see. We will see. I just know that I'm super, super excited for this. Because this is, like I said, not only the only, only the second time that I've ever had, like, the game generate pyramids for me. But, I got two. So, I'm pretty happy. And, nope. Looks like that's it. So, can't really be mad about it. I did get the flying carpet, which, like I said, is super useful. Especially for new characters. You know, fall damage, be damned. You don't gotta worry about it anymore. So, of course this also makes traversing the overworld a little bit easier as well. Just because you can float. And that means you have better mobility. Better mobility equals a happier you. So, no need to grab those banners. Uh... They're pretty much the same for all pyramids as far as I'm aware, so... Let's dig my way out of here, shall we? So... Alright. Next stop, hopefully going to be the dungeon, which... I will know very quickly if I'm on the right path for the dungeon. And that's plenty of cacti to finish my cactus... My cactus gear, so... I'm um, going to go ahead and pop a shine potion because it's going to get kind of dark here in, in a few. Um, Night Owl potions are also pretty useful, but I'm not really in need of them right this moment. So just go over here, and that's definitely dead ending. So, And this zombie arm is actually really lucky to have picked up from a random zombie because... It just makes it so much easier to handle enemies having a weapon that not only doesn't suck, but also has an overhead swing. Raincoat zombie. He can drop his raincoat, but I get a shackle, so... That is something. Uh, it will give me a little more defense, and it gives me a little more melee speed too, so that's a thing. Um, get off me, zombies. Please. Not gonna really bother messing with them too much, because... I do have a better weapon. Alright, so the jungle is over here, which means the dungeon is not. Which means I'm going to pop one of them and go ahead and come back over here. So, off this way to infinity and beyond. Hopefully the dungeon so I can get a free and easy water bolt so I can try to start finding my floating islands. Because the items from the floating item, from the floating island, the horseshoe, the balloon, and star fury and all that. Really, really fantastic items. So, you know, that is super awesome. I accidentally forgot to set my stopwatch to see what time the recording started, so I guess I'll just stop it whenever I feel like I've hit a good part in the uh, episode. And then we'll see about whatever else. Because, like I said, I'm going to probably record two or three videos at once, just in batches. We'll, we'll talk about that cave later. Because I'm going to go down there now that I have the flying carpet. Which makes it super easy to traverse. Like I said, the shine potions are really nice. I'm glad that they... I'm glad that they are... They seem to drop a little bit more than they used to. Like, you used to hardly ever get shine potions from chests and things of that nature, so... Especially early on, it's really nice and useful. Uh, get off me, I. 
I, I told you, get off me, man. Like, you got a problem? I'm about to die. So, like I said, zombie arm helps out, but it doesn't solve all my issues because I'm still getting absolutely wrecked by some enemies. But, uh, yeah, so now that I have my flying carpet, I would ideally go ahead and pick up a double jump, hopefully from the snow biome, at some point in the near future. And you see, I just float right over that water now. So, we're getting into the crimson. This is actually crimson snow biome, so, you know, mixed enemies, those are a thing. Is there a snow, is there a water chest in here? No, but I did get a glow sticks, so. Alright, so this is a problem. Not only am I in the water, but there's also a wall here, which means bad things for me if these chimeras, yeah, chimera, if they start, like, swarming the piss out of me. Gonna have a bad time. South Park meme.jpg. So, as soon as I get some grenades, I am gonna go into the crimson a little bit. Like, down in there, break a couple of the uh, orbs. And then, as soon as the first meteorite falls, hopefully I will get a hold of a tungsten pickaxe or something of that nature. Uh, don't really care too much about the copper. I should really have bought a piggy bank and a mining helmet, though, while I was back at my base, so... That's, that's poor of me. I should have definitely done that. But, uh, you know, like I said, I want to go to the Crimson. You can get some pretty nice weapons that are really strong for you at the time that, you, you know... Because you're not supposed to go into the Crimson until, like, right before you're ready to go into the underground jungle for the first time. Which is getting pretty close to when you're going to want to fight, you know, go to the underworld and fight other things. You know, I don't know how much you know about Terraria, so I'm going to be careful to not spoil anything as much as I can. Um, that was weird. So... Having the flying carpet, like I said, it's super nice, super useful. I'm a huge fan, 10 out of 10. Uh, let's see here, I want to get the falling stars, though. As, as much as I just want to, like, jump down that cave and see if there's any quick chests. Because that will give me my first, and I'm getting wrecked while I'm trying to pick up my mana crystal. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's teach these zombies why you're not... Why it's not good to be such rude dudes and ruin their days. So, um, I don't really. Oh shit! There goes the shine potion. Okay. So, um, again, shine potions are useful, but if you're not careful, you will have a bad time. So let's just go down here a bit and see if I can find anything useful for me. I can't make that jump, so... Like I said, ropes, probably the most useful item you'll find early on. And I am not very... I'm very judicious with them. Like I said before, I, I will use them if, you know, I feel I need to. And I will not use them sparingly. But, you know, that may or may not be a bad thing. Oh god, water in Terraria is so bad early on. Until you have, like, the ability to fly or a double jump. So, um, let's, come on, please. Alright. So yeah, not much going on down there. I'm not going to worry about exploring too deep, because like I said, the crimson and the snow biome. The snow biome itself isn't too hard to handle early on, but I definitely don't suggest going into, like, a crimson snow biome. That's it's being a little, uh, being a little brave, and I'm not, not inclined to do that. So, here, alright, so, chest, what do we got? Ten bars, throwing knives, yeah, I'll just take it all. No need to not take it all. Face monster, please, take your face elsewhere. I'm just trying to get some treasure, man. Why you gotta be so hostile? Alright, so, face monsters, zombies, chimeras, everything's out to kill me. Oh god, please, don't end my life, Zombos. Like, I won't end yours if you weren't trying to end mine. Like, you gotta co-inhabitate, man. And more face monsters. I'm almost dead. This is why the Crimson is scary and bad. Because the enemies are strong, they're scary, they're bad, and they make me mad because I'm bad. So, 
Um, just gonna float away as quickly as we possibly can, try to get out of the Crimson. Because I do believe that the enemies are inclined to spawn a bit more in the Crimson as well, like the spawn rate's higher. But I definitely know, like, the jungle is the end-all, be-all, like, we're gonna mess you up if you stay here. So I think this is actually really lucky for me right here, because this is a large... Oh, get out of here. I, I told you not to come back. <laughs> Alright, so I think I see a lot of tungsten down here. This is... Surface tungsten, not nearly as common as, like, surface iron or tin, but here we are. We got a little bit of tungsten up here. So, tungsten will let me mine meteorite, which is gonna be probably the first full armor set I go for. Meteorite armor is really nice. It's very easy to get a hold of, especially whenever you have the demolitionist, because then you can just take a bunch of grenades, or a bunch of uh, bombs and go crazy. And just, the faster you can get the meteor heads out of, like, your way when it comes to trying to farm a meteorite up, definitely the better off you're gonna be. So, just get all the tungsten. It's worth staying and getting hit and possibly almost dying. So like I said, the tungsten pickaxe is just... It's generally the first pickaxe upgrade that I go to because it can mine meteorite, like I said. And overall, the difference isn't too, too terribly much between, like, tungsten and... Uh, you know, between, like, tungsten and your first pickaxe, other than, like, yes, it will go significantly faster, but we're not talking, like, some of the jumps that you can get in the hard mode Terraria between pickaxes. That's actually really crazy how high up some of those can go. So, just, yeah, I don't think there's anything in there. Um, may as well pick up the tin, I guess. Uh... I'm trying to think about what it's used for, if there's anything specifically super useful that it's used for anything. I can't think of anything off the top of my head that may be incorrect, but it's always good to pick it up. And there's another cave down there, and there's a zombie jumping around in the water, so that's a thing, but good news is it is now daytime again, which means zombos are no longer a thing. Uh, you know, I'll pick this lead up, or this tin up too. I'm sorry, I'm so used to lead being uh, the first ore that I really get in large quantities in this game. So, gonna have to use some ropes to get out of here. Not too big a deal. Shine potion expires, but it is daytime now, so not too big a deal. And flying fish, it is raining, so there will be flying fish and goldfish that think that they are entitled to walk on land. So... Just jump in here real quick. Do I see anything of use down here? Not really. But get some more glow sticks. Let's try to land this so I can get this tungsten real quick. And let's get the hell out of the water. <laughs> because like I said, this can go south really fast. And I'm now drowning. Okay, so yeah, like I said, that's why water is so bad. I would really like to have gotten a chance to get, like, a really easy water chest. Sorry if you can hear the dogs barking. My... We have wiener dogs, and they are probably the most annoying creatures on the face of the earth. Let's put it that way. Love my dogs to death, but they're annoying. So... Just... Okay. Nothing down there for me. That's fine. You don't always gotta give me things, Troy. You just gotta give me things sometimes. That's what keeps me coming back. So, get some tin. Like I said, I'm probably gonna, like, towards the end game, actually go for, like, trying to make all the armors and displaying them and all that, so. Definitely worth my time to go ahead and pick up things while I can. Uh. Yeah, definitely gonna be getting a hold of a new axe very soon. <laughs> Which, you know, ideally I would have enough tungsten for the pickaxe and the, uh, actual axe as well. Just to make chopping down trees less painful, but hey, what are you gonna do? Ah, climbing claws. Helps me scale walls. Very useful. And I'll just go ahead and take everything else as well. Night owl potion. Be helpful for later on. Ah, here's the dungeon. Excellent. It's weird. There's just a random pink brick platform out there, so. Alright, um, water bolts. Water bolts. I'm looking for the water bolts. 
am I going to be able to get a water bolt? Um, I'm willing to... Actually, I need to be a little more thoughtful about this. Because I have a ton of gold on me. So, these are all just books. Um, how do I best handle this is the question. First, let's do some inventory management. Get as much of the gel out as I can. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, just drop that. Don't want to get rid of those torches. Um, yeah, we can just drop that. And that'll be fine for now. Books. Um, I, I need to be careful about angering the dungeon guardian by going down too deep. Because he is not a fun guy to mess with. But I want a quick water bolt, so... Um, god, this is... This is scary. Don't do what I do. Because, like, he kills you and... Yes! Got it! Got the water bolt! Worth it! And... Yeah, I'm definitely going back for that. Um, but I will go back for that individually after the video is over. I accomplished exactly what I wanted to do. I got my water bolt, and it's actually a pretty good one, too. So definitely no complaints there. Uh, I'm going to end the video while I do some inventory management right now. See, the nice thing about having such long rows of things is that plenty of room for chests, which means I can start doing a little bit of management. Let's go ahead and throw up my banners from my successful conquest of the pyramids. Excellent. Um, for now, this will just be where I put like plants and stuff and their seeds, so water leaf to water leaf. Do I have any day bloom seeds? Nope. I don't believe I do. Um, let's go ahead and sell off some stuff too while I'm thinking about it. So shackles, not really useful. And yeah, there you go. One gold for flying carpet. Really nice pickup to have early. It's a shame that I got two of them, but I can't be too salty about it. So we can get rid of that. Oh, I got another zombie arm. Just sell that too. Might as well. Um, the black lens is gonna keep. Like I'm definitely keeping that. And this will just be where I put like various materials and stuff for actual crafting. Bottles can go down here. I don't really care for throwing knives or shurikens. I don't ever use them. I probably should. Like, I can see definitely why they could be useful. Go ahead and pick up the piggy bank and my mining helmet. The mining helmet, best thing ever. Permanent light source now. Uh, let's go ahead and come over here. Oh, there's a door there. Thought I frame dropped for a second. Nope. Alright, so let's grab this out. Alright, so let's see here. Oh, make another mana crystal. Actually, that was the one that I never made. Just kidding. Alright, so here's me some tungsten bars. Can I... Uh, I can't make the pickaxe yet, which is the most important thing. Just a little too far off, which is a shame. So, um, 40% pickaxe power to 35. 45 to 35. Yeah, I'll definitely make the axe. That other axe was just unbearable to use. Let's go ahead and fashion me up some tin bars. And as you can see, there's actually literally no difference between the pickaxe, the copper pickaxe, and the tin pickaxe, other than the slightly smaller range. So I believe tin armor is slightly better, but uh, yeah, I'll put the chainmail up here just because. I'm actually going to be really salty, or not salty, I'm going to be really, like, it's going to be hilarious if the cactus chest is actually better. Nope, it's actually exactly the same, so, <laughs> there's that. So, um, I think that's all I really care to make right now. So, let's go ahead and do some more management of my inventory here. This is, I generally put my, uh, like various bars and stuff like just down right next to uh, where my having a hard time speaking words just won't come I generally like to put it right next to uh, 
like wherever I craft armor and stuff like that. Just makes it a little bit easier to get to, you know, you don't have to like walk off and get your stuff, come back. Piggy bank is super useful because Bam. Now I won't have to worry about losing 17 gold because the dungeon guardian wanted to be a very unnice guy. So just quick stack all that. Um, this is generally where I'm going to be placing blocks, but I'm going to, like, in the next episode, I'm going to be actually going and looking for my Sky Islands now that I have my Water Bolt. Uh, it can be a little tedious if you're unlucky, but we'll see how it goes. But I think that just about does it, guys. You know, this has been Episode 2 of my Terraria 1.2.4 Let's Play. And, like I said, I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, you know, if you have anything to say. And if you do like the video, please leave it a like. It does help out a lot. And if you like my content, you're well, more than welcome to subscribe to me. No pressure. But thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.